Hola! Greetings and salutations, folks. It's I, your host, Cinema King, coming back at you today. Today, we are talking The Frighteners. Originally, this was meant to be a third installment of the Tales from the Crypt film series. You know, they did Bordello of Blood, they did Demon Knight, and then we're going to do this. Well, I don't know what happened, but they decided not to stick that title on here. This was uh, Peter Jackson horror comedy from the late 90s and it was also a test because this was the movie where Weta Workshop who did the majority of the effects on the Lord of the Rings trilogy was kind of dipping their toe in the water to see what they could do. The effects in this movie still hold up to this date and are some of the best effects I have seen in a late 90s CGI fest. The thing that sticks out about this movie is that it is a genuine laugh-out-loud comedy at some moments, combined with some legitimately scary moments. It's, again, a horror comedy, but this particular horror comedy is the kind of horror comedy that makes you go, oh man, that's dark because there are some truly dark moments in this. Now, you do occasionally get um, eccentric characters in horror movies, and I love that. And in this case, the eccentric character is played by none other than the reanimator himself, Jeffrey Combs. And Jeffrey Combs is just this absolutely out there law enforcement character who is sadistic and a bit of a sadist and it's just it's difficult to describe how unusual his character is but then you get jake Busey as the ghost of a serial killer that michael j fox has got to try and track down because michael j fox's character is supposed to be a psychic medium and a self-proclaimed ghostbuster who actually uses ghosts to help him haunt houses if this feels a little far-fetched it's because it is but it's also a lot of fun you get character actors like arlie ermy you get john uh, john ashton and it's just too much fun to, for you to not check out if you're a fan of this kind of movie if you are a fan of horror comedies i highly recommend the frighteners i feel like not enough people have seen this movie so there you go. I'm your host, Cinema Kane, and this rounds out our final episode for Spooky Season this year. Final episode in October. Hey, I turned 41 and got all eight of these episodes and a special podcast episode out to you guys just in time for my birthday. So if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to click like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell notification so you know every time Cinema Kane has a new video uploaded. And I'll see you next time at the video store.